in a fiber channel network, we have a fiber channel switch, either a Nexus 5K, an MDS switch, a Brocade, anything. These are, these are not Cisco specific port types. These are just port types available for everybody, for all the fiber channel vendors. If I connect a fiber channel host, either a, a disk or a server, so I'm always connecting either servers or disks or tape arrays or anything. A disk or something that I write the data to or read it from is called a target. Everything else, all the host systems that generate the data or need the data to process it are initiators. So these guys initiate the data and they write it towards a target or they read it from a target. Next, how are these ports called? Because this is a node on the network, seen from the host, this is called a node port, N port. Seen from the switch, this is a fabric port. So a node port always communicates to a fabric port. N port always talks to F port. Then if I am running another fiber channel switch here, I probably want to have some connection between there. That inner connection is on both sides of the link, like here and like there, that's called an E port. And those are your most important ones. In a normal switch mode operation, I'm running E ports between switches and F ports towards my clients. So the only things that I'm configuring are switch mode, mode F and switch mode, mode E. And then my server sees that as an N port. So that are, that are the most important ones. Second, when I change the switch to NPV mode, what I do is I still have, let's, let's erase some things here. So what I do is I have a couple hosts, so a couple initiators down here. And I do not want to waste another domain ID in the network. So I add a fiber channel device called an NPV switch. This is the same device as I had earlier. If this is a Nexus 5K, for example, or a cheaper MDS, so not all these switches support this, but the Nexus 5K, for example, does. I need to convert that to NPV mode because NPV mode is a totally different thing in this fiber channel world. I basically disable the whole learning capability, the whole control plane capability, everything. I disable that and all I leave is some capability of doing port pinning and forwarding packets out of me. I'm not going to process any packet. The only lookup I'm doing is port based, not packet based. So I pin ports from client to uplink. So again, I have a couple nodes here couple initiators. These are again my node ports. And what I do is I virtualize all those node ports behind a single F port. So from a fiber channel switch standpoint, nothing changes. So this is an F port to an N port communication. This is also F port to N port communication. It's just going through another device but it's the same thing. It's F port to N port communication. It's just that multiple N ports are behind that single F port. So I virtualize multiple N ports behind that single F port. And now the only difference in the port mode is that it's not an F port with an N port here, but what I'm doing here, this port, this uplink port here is called an NP port. That is the only additional port name introduced. So F port to N port communication does not change. It is just going through another switch where it selects an uplink, where it does the port pinning.